Hello everyone, welcome to the shop. Wait, gaming else and the news special. Right, I'm been reading a lot about Starfield lately being the worst Bethesda game ever according to Steam players. <laughs> you know, I've seen so many posts on Twitter and on Facebook that it's the worst it's the worst game. I can't see how uh <laughs> it's the worst game. I think the game's absolutely amazing. It's Bethesda is just like all out thing like that. It came out this uh people who got it earlier the first of September and and I think it came out on the sixth of September I think people who who waited after that. But it's been rating the worst Bethesda game ever. I can't see how I, th I think it's ridiculous, you know, he's got a seven point seven what point seventy one point thirty seven percent which is lower than spoiler seventy six. And I'm like, really? But the thing is, it's amazing that on Metro, I looked at Metro Cricket, and it, it's like 84 percent, 66 average scores. But look on Steam, and it's mostly recommended. You got um, what with six, sixty-five thousand people put positive reviews on it, and you got twenty-five thousand with negative reviews. Some of them make me laugh, like this one. The ships are completely useless. There's no space exploration. Yeah, there is. And you got loads of screws that are required to go to go there. Not always. Then they have no credit. Well, they do have. We should leave it. Stealth is broken. I have no problem with stealth. It's you know we are flying in the year twenty twenty three hundred, flying across the galaxy. Every weapon in the game is found in the shed. But it's not. It's, <laughs> I just don't get people like this. It's undercooked. We don't show how I feel about this game. It's certainly not bad. It's. Not a masterpiece. I've it's like, I think these are all haters. It really is. It's just like what the hell? I think the game is absolutely amazing. I think most of these I reckon are PlayStation fans. No offence to PlayStation people who have got Playstations who's got both consoles. I'm personally a Xbox fan. But I've got no issues with people um we play on PlayStation or anything like that. My one of my friends who I watch stream, he favours the PlayStation <laughs> more than Xbox. But you know, it's just ridiculous. The game is a good game. It's unfortunately it's on Xbox only and PC. You know, it's what it is. It, it's going to be. I'm always going to be like if PlayStation had this game. Would it be the same? Oh, I bet it wouldn't have any of this slating at all, I don't think. If it's on PlayStation only, I really can't see it. You know, I think the console wars really now have to stop. I think now it's forgetting, it's getting silly with these fanboys out there. You know, we should be grateful. We've got these amazing games on both consoles. You know, there's, there are some games um, I wish that was on Xbox. You know, like Death Stranding and The Last of Us, things like that, which I think are amazing games. You know, but you know, this is ridiculous. The amount of maybe comments I've seen online now about this game. You know, until you try it yourself and play it yourself, you know, give it time. You know, it's come out this month. There's loads of things in the pipeline for the game to come out. You know, it's going to be DLC coming out. You know, you've got a massive game. And I've I think Bethesda's done a really good game work on the game. You know, there's been a few bugs here and there. There's been a few glitches I've either uh, experienced, but it doesn't put me off the game. I think the game's fantastic. I complete uh, played it today, um, and I've completed it last night. The main story, and I'm playing it again through the new game experience, which is quite fun. So yeah, I think it's just ridiculous. Worse than Fallout 76, I think Fallout 76 ain't all that. I really don't. I just think these are just haters. I don't know. I really don't. It's just absolutely crazy. I'm going to take out some more of these comments because these are some of these quite funny. Um, where, are we? where are we? Where are we? Uh, where are the reviews gone? I've gone past them, haven't they? So, what else have we got? I recommend it after finishing my story, doing all the faction quests, reaching level 100. 
it's safe to say Sophie isn't worth hype. Well, you can do it more than once. You can do this as many times as you want. It's like no end game, really. I don't think it is. Okay, uh, I've played it since it come out. What else have we got? The reason you first game is probably could get lower. Nah. You're talking about your backside. Sorry. There's no. I just. <laughs> Everything is said, I think, is a kind of bland, static, solo, and lifeless. You only play like 7 hours in the game. You've got only 23 hours. Only 3 hours play, 65, 70 hours. So you, you can't be that bad if you're play, you've played the game and you've done 194 hours on the game, on record. You know, you play 26 hours, 26 hours, 53 hours. You know, and you got positives. You know, people play, you know, spoilers, free and visual, suckers, overhype, with their hype, driven soon after Baldur's Gate 3. It's another good game, that is. It's mainly positive, you know, I just, just wish people just grow up. It's a game, you know, everyone loves it, everyone hates it. It's, in my opinion, I think it's a fantastic game. But, you know, that's enough said. <laughs> I don't want people hating me. Um, but no. Come give comments down below in what your opinion is on the game. You know, who, who has played it and who would like to play it. Because generally, I think it's a really good game. I think it's something different. I really do. It's got. I know, it's hard to explain, <laughs> explain really. It's just. <laughs> What I say to it, it's just a lot of hate about it because I've, I've it's just because Microsoft and Xbox have it on there's this thing, it's a lot of hate, but you know, end of that. Thank you all for joining me today for a little rant, don't mean to be a rant, but it's just getting sick and tired of seeing posts saying this is the worst game ever, blah 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 blah. It's just ridiculous, you know, just enjoy gaming. That's what it is. Just enjoy gaming. Like for personally and personal note, that gaming for me, um, I don't think I'll do anything better. I enjoy gaming. I love gaming. It's been there for my darkest times, and it's still there now. You know, it's, it's I love it. I love gaming. I love playing new games, different games that I haven't played before, and. This was one of the games I think I think one of my first Bethesda game I completed to be honest, um, because I played Fallout Four. I've never completed that. Um, Skyrim. I, I think I completed that in the three hundred and sixty, and I like that game. I want to play that again. It's just you know, there's a lot of positives about gaming. Well, it is. So that's me finished <laughs> rambling. Thank you very much for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Help the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you all for listening to my little rant. Bye bye.